<laughs> hey everybody. I just had to re-record this whole video because as I was talking about the mode that I was using in Bamboo Studio, I kept pointing at something that was behind my giant head. So I moved me up here so I'm not blocking what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so my son and I are making dioramas and the one we're working on right now is a camping scene and he needed a bear. So I found a bear and this bear was very shiny and I used a matte PLA and for some reason after it melted and then dried and hardened, it got shiny. Like it didn't look like that before I melted it. So I'm thinking, what can I do? Oh wait, I learned about this thing called fuzzy skin. I'm using Bamboo Studio right now and I've heard it's in a lot of different slicers. So if you have a favorite slicer, you might want to Google that to see if it's in yours. But in Bamboo Studio, if you click on other right here and look down under special mode, is that where it is? Yes, special mode, fuzzy skin. So I learned this by watching some videos and Googling, which is you know how I learn everything these days. And I've learned that 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to use this contour one and then contour and hole. I think it's if you want a bear with a hole to have a fuzzy hole. I don't know why you would use that, <laughs> but, and then the other one is all walls, which would mean the bear is fuzzy on the inside. And while I think he's probably a sweetheart, um, we don't need him fuzzy on the inside. He's got infill in there. So we're just going to do the contour on the fuzzy skin. And I'm going to show you the difference between a non-fuzzy bear and a fuzzy bear, both with the same brown PLA and big difference. And it makes a bear look more realistic. So if you're printing anything that you want to have like kind of a fuzzy texture on it, it's pretty cool. And many of you have known about this for a long time, but it's new to me. So I'm super excited and please share the excitement with me because I have never used fuzzy skin until today. Here's the bear. All right, so this guy lost a foot because like a dumb butt, I thought tree support auto-generated would be a good idea in this tiny little bear. And when I was removing the support, he lost a limb. This is the fuzzy skin bear. He has all his limbs. This was auto-generated, slim, regular support, and I applied it myself by painting it on because, I don't know, it was like excessive. The support that the slicer thought it needed was excessive, so I did less. It came out okay. I think if I print more bears, I would do slightly less. And then, as you can see, shiny bear, just ignore the foot fuzzy skin bear. These are tiny bears. They are about, I would say, about the size of a quarter, maybe. Maybe a little tiny bit bigger. But this takes the bear to a whole new level. So, ugh. whoa. Thank you for watching. If you get anything out of my content, please like and subscribe. It really helps this little baby channel. Until next time, peace.